Hi guys, it's Emily from Monster Free Girl here, back with another video. This is my monthly shop for my eat at home challenge. Unfortunately, I had to throw out my meal plan and my shopping list and basically all sense of order because after the flooding and the severe thunderstorms we've been having and the panic buying and all of that, there are huge gaps on the shelves, there aren't a lot of specials, there's no way to know what any store has in stock other than going and looking. So I just kind of went, we all went and we winged it and we'll work out what we're having sort of after that. I know a lot of people shop like that anyway, so come along for the ride. I did get a bunch of free fruit and veg, you'll see. I did see a lot of empty shelves, which you'll see. And I got a little bit of meat. I spent $299 and a few cents. I'll put that in the title of the video. <laughs> um, and I still have my weekly top up shops to go. So if you're into that kind of thing, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, happy to have you back. Stay tuned for my Eat at Home challenge. While I was at Coles though, I did see my favourite decor containers, matchup containers on a special and half price. I know you guys love those, so check them out this week. So here it is, obviously doing my monthly shop was not easy with everything that's been going on, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So let's just go through this first. First up, I literally just walked in the house after putting all the groceries out on the, brought the groceries in, put them out on the counter, was about to record this video when a notification popped up on my community page of all of this fresh fruit and veg for free, come and get it or they were gonna throw it out. So I went and got it, and it's beautiful. Uh, the lady said she gets a tray of fresh fruit every Thursday, and they didn't finish them this week. So here it is. I've got nectarines, I've got plums, I've got a couple of Lebanese cucumbers, a broccoli, little tiny brown spot, that's right, I can cut that off. Some green grapes, some cabbage, some pumpkin. I have a ton of pumpkin, so I might see if I can give that to the neighbor, because that's cling wrapped. But I have all of this fresh fruit and veg. I haven't done my fresh fruit shop yet. So there's a big saving right there. Now, 
I have got this kind of sectioned out for you, so we'll go through it bit by bit. Starting here at the Asian shop, it's a sunlit um, supermarket. I went to the Park Ridge shops this week. And I got two hot pot bases, because I want to have hot pot. They're all out of the beef one that we like, the beef broth. But we also like the shrimp, so I grabbed two of those. They were on special for $3.20. I got this giant box of 40 meagerang for the kids and hubby for $19.99, so 20 bucks. And then my kids love doing these tiny little miniature making food things. So I got a dinosaur one for my big boy to make, a lolly candy ring for my little girl, and a gummy one for the three of them to do together. And they are $4.99 for one, $6.99 for another, and I think $5.99 for the other one. All up, the Asian supermarket came to $44, and I get 10% off of that for being a member, which is free. Moving on to the fruit shop I hit on the way out. Hubby got this little thing of succulents for $4.50. I got a extra large uh, local eggs for four dollars three ninety nine. I got two ninety nine for this bunch of Asian veggies for when I make hot pot, and they had these teeny tiny little mini pears, and I got six of them for my little girl because she loves those kind of fun things. They were five ninety nine a kilo, and I got these papples, P A P P L E papples. It's a cross between a pear and an apple. So I got two of those. They were $5.99. I'm going to try those. No, they were $1.99 each. Those were $5.99 a kilo. Moving on, we then have the coal shop. You can, down here we have Nutella, $7.50. This was $7.99. I got two of the Coles brand maple flavored syrups for $2.50 each. $4 for the gluten-free soy sauce. I know it's expensive. $1.75 for the Coles flavored topping. I make chocolate milk with this. I $3.50 for hot cross buns for the kids. And then $3 for each of these tiny orange, um, orange and red cherry tomatoes for the kids. Gravy's really expensive now. I got two of the Gravox. The Coles ones are no longer gluten-free, so I have to get the brand name. But these were on special two for seven eighty, which I feel is really expensive for gravy. But okay, I was pleasantly surprised to find these. I'm perfect. I've ne I don't do fresh stuff at Coles and Woolies because it's too expensive. But I found these I'm perfect um, things, which is basically they're not the perfect shape and size that Coles and Woolies are looking for, but they're perfectly good. And they have these big bags. This was a one fifty. For a dollar fifty, and I used to get one kilo, two one kilo bags for three dollars at the fruit shop. But now it's two one kilo bags for five dollars, which makes them two dollars fifty a kilo. These are one fifty for a dollar fifty, so that's three kilos for three dollars, a dollar a kilo. Really good deal. So grab those. Same with the I'm Perfect carrots. They were a dollar fifty for I think it's yeah 150 again and I usually pay two kilos three dollars for two kilos two bags that's so three dollars so this is three kilos for three dollars so I've got some more carrots there that's great because we use carrots for everything and the price of frozen carrots I noticed has gone up not that you can get them as you can see in the shots that I've already shown you four dollars for my gluten-free crackers Olive oil was $7. Water had a limit on it, so I only grabbed two of those. Garbage bags were $3.70. The Lagos pasta bake sauce was $3. I actually found my Domio at Woolworths later on special. I actually found my Domio past three cheese pasta bake sauce for uh, on special for two sixty at Coles later, so there's that. I got the I'm Perfect apples, which were two kilo bags for five sixty. 
So it worked out to be three kilo bags for 560. All right, so there were two kilo bags, two at 590 each, which works out to be $2.50 plus 20, so $2.70, there you go. My brain is just not working today. So we got a bag of pink and a bag of green for the I Am Perfect. I got two loaves of bread from Coles. I wanted to leave some on the shelf. Um, there wasn't much, as you could see, and Woolworths had zero. I got a tasty cheese, which was six seventy. I got a peas and a corn cob. They didn't have much in the frozen section, but I wanted to grab something, although I did find better options at Woolies later. The shapes were all on special for $1.90. I got a tin of tuna fish in brine because I need to do, I'm gonna do sushi this week. I wanna do some tuna sushi and some tuna rice bowls. I got a two kilo of sugar. Jats was $2.50. And then we're moving into Woolworths. So $135.40, which when you look at it, isn't, you don't get a lot for that. Moving on to Woolworths, I did really well at Woolworths. They had cheesels, which have gone up in price, but they are on half price for $1.35. They used to go on half price for $1.25, so they've gone up 20 cents a box. Got three of those. I got the bacon, which was $9.90. Moving down, I got the french fries, which were $2.20. They have gone up. Garlic bread, which is $1.90 still for now. $2 for all of this cordial, so I grabbed three of those to have some options for the week. Then I got these bird's eye stir-fry mixes. I like having stir-fry mixes in the freezer to throw into things to make a quick meal. I usually try and keep my frozen veg costs under $4 a kilo. This worked out to be, I think off the top of my head, it was like $5.80 a kilo all up. So I grabbed two of these. These are... 850 grams each and I ended up paying five dollars each for those five dollars for the chicken mints four dollars for the cocoa bombs the Nutrigrain pack was on special for six dollars I believe I can't actually look that one up I have e-receipts so I have to get out of my video to do that um, it was 580 for the spring rolls 550 for the gluten-free bread. Coles had zero gluten-free bread, but I was able to snag this Ollie's. Oh, the milk was meant to be over in the Coles section. <laughs> but um, obviously I got the $3.90 for the milk from Coles. Moving down, rice wine vinegar was on special for $1.90, so I grabbed one of those. $3.45 for yogurt. The yogurt section wasn't too bad, so I grabbed two of those. Two juices, which used to be $2 for a bottle, are now $2.20. So you can see they've definitely gone up. $2.60 for those Dolmio three cheese sauces. There was no butter at the Coles, so I got a table spread at the Woolies. The family pack was on special for $7.50 for 20 satchels at the Woolies. I got this grater for $2 at the cheap shop. The Caramilk Hokey Pokey was on special for $2. Hubby snuck that in. Coming over here, my baby's all out of baby wash and I don't use Johnson & Johnson's and I just don't have time to go to the reject shop and be driving all around because of all the road closures. So I grabbed this, this is $5, pretty expensive. I usually get the reject shop ones, which I think are like $2.50 each or something. And then meat pies, they had tons of those. So I grabbed two lots for hubby and the kids. And they are $4, I believe, usually. And I don't think they have changed in price. Woolies was $86, but I had $25 in gift cards from the Lint chocolate deal. So it cost me $61.71. And then we have the butchers. 
And for the meat that I got this week, which was pretty hard to come by, but I got two kilos of chicken drumsticks for $1.99. And I got two kilos of pork chops. I got a bunch of marinated and then two plain so that I can do different flavors for me and hubby. All up the butchers was $22.10 all up. So that comes to $2.99.50 all up for today's shopping plus the $95 and 50 something cents from the lunchbox haul you would have just seen that brings us to $399.50 say 400 bucks that's our monthly shopping done the plan for the weekly top-up shop is 25 to 30 35 dollars obviously won't need to go this week because I picked up some fresh fruit in that monthly shop. So I'm hoping that the whole month I'm only going to spend about $500 on food in total, which is better than our usual $600 a month budget. And then we can save a hundred bucks and we can put that towards our goals, house deposit, moving, all that fun stuff. Don't forget to follow along. There'll be lots of new videos, lots of new content coming your way. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be reminded when I post new videos. Bye guys, catch you in the next one.